Hey everybody, I'm having a little cold so my voice is different. It's cold outside, again. We thought winter was kind of over but it was minus 20 uh, uh, two days ago so my car didn't start, it was uh, drama, 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 drama. But the cool thing about snow being here, that's not... Uh, Now that's getting in, in heat a little bit. She's becoming a woman. So, uh, what I was <laughs> about to say is that the cool thing about snow is that we get animal tracks again. And there are some, you probably cannot see it like that. No, I'm gonna walk there. But there's some huge animal track. It's like a half a battlefield. And I'm not sure what it is, but they go all directions right in the backyard. So, um, I'm gonna check that out, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Cool. Okay, here we are outside. This is the road around their house. That's where the house is. And here's just forest, pretty much. And I can see two tracks. It's coming out somewhere out of the forest. I'm not sure where. At least I think, because it's going on there, uh, onto our backyard. I haven't seen where they're coming from. They could be walking over the street also. I don't know. By the way, there's almost no cars driving here. Some trucks. Uh, and that's why it's... Crazy slippery. And in Sweden they put little... They put sand on the... Like little gravel on there. Because they don't want to put salt on it. Which doesn't help at all. So... Okay, uh, yeah, as I said, we got some tracks here. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see. So, this is one, see how deep it is. This is one. And, holy fuck, I'm not really sure what this is. Why is it in trees like that? One, two, three. There's another one here. I don't know one there. I cannot really make up paw prints. It is going that direction because like we said the other time, it's walking like this, the foot is going that, and then it stops it foot like that and takes the next step. So this is the sharp edge. So it's going into our backyard. It's jumping, this is hair. Uh, <laughs> three of them, they're crossing here. And one is going there. So this one. So here we're walking straight into a backyard. It went here, at least one of them, or two. I don't know where the other one went, but then it is in the backyard. One goes there. Oh, they both go there. But also, one goes here. And another one goes there also. So here they do. Whatever hares do, I have no idea what this behavior is. They've been jumping around here a little bit. One is going, oh no, one came from there also. And one is going there. So, and then. <laughs> they went here. Oh, I don't know what to do. And then you go here into the 
fosforos, cigano. Okay, that run for a second at least. Let's see what I can do. That's that's not good. This doesn't work. I've got one piece for the fireplace tonight. It got so much wax in it. This is burning immediately. Uh, not wax, uh, resin. 
This is uh, uh, spruce and it has got so much resin in it that even though this has been in the forest just laying around in the open, in the snow, in the weather, in the rain it has so much resin in it you can see it on the outer parts of the bark you can see it actually heaping up that's uh, well it, I wouldn't call it fat wood but it's pretty close it's where the resin builds up and that's why if I split this in four which I'm gonna do uh, I at least can make a good f starting fire out of it so if I use this to start my uh, my fireplace up and put birds in it afterwards which could be a little bit wet even then it, it's gonna burn for a while it's gonna be uh, it's gonna keep me warm for the next one night or two to start with so but um, yeah if anybody has any tips on the chainsaw uh, I have none experience with it as you can see how I hold it and how I handle it uh, but uh, I got it to work just by looking at YouTube basically and uh, yeah that's about it it works sort of but not the way it's supposed to work as you can see it's the RPMs that are at least I think it's the RPMs that are a problem because if it's it's either in idle way too high so the chain keeps spinning you've seen that or it's uh, in high uh, well when I hit the gas it's um, uh, it's not spinning or it stops it just stops spinning so it's slipping or something maybe uh, and it's overheating not so much anymore now I adjusted the, the, the air intake but it's still in the beginning especially it smoked like hell I don't know what it is if, again if any of you have a tip or know what to do in this case then uh, feel free to let me know because it would really help thank you about this axe <laughs> I don't own a splitting axe uh, also something on the list to buy but there's a lot on the list to buy so this is an axe that is originally you can see the slim head that is originally I don't know if you can see it you can see it like this yeah. that is made to cut into the wood you see and uh, chop down a tree or something or whatever uh, a bigger wider head with a small uh, like a bigger angle uh, head on it that's for splitting wood but yeah you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta use what you can use so this really doesn't work so well but I sometimes you got to work with the things you got just make it work it's not so sharp either but that doesn't take away the fun just learning as you go that's what we're doing here Maybe one more, just uh, just for the fuck of it. Stop. We gotta sell some firewood.
So I want to cut some wood for uh, next winter, <laughs> for now if I can. And we have a beautiful piece of pine laying around, or spruce, I think it's spruce. Regardless, I need my chainsaw to work. And I got a chainsaw, a cheap chainsaw that came with the house, this one. Which is from the brand Meek. Well, it's not great, it's from Eula, it's a cheap uh, construction store. Uh, building store here in Sweden uh, but it didn't work uh, so I cleaned it I uh, changed the gas that was in it I changed the I adjusted the, the air intake from the engine air filter is clean it has spark I get it to run but the carburetor is not adjusted well so it doesn't make enough RPMs to get the uh, clutch to open up so the chain doesn't spin or doesn't spin long and then it dies. So I thought I'd go to Eula's and I asked for a carburetor adjustment tool and they say because sometimes it's uh, the the manufacturer doesn't allow you to uh, to tweak the carburetor yourself but we have a set of carburetor adjustment tools well i said yeah well that's exactly what i need and it's from meek tools so uh you would say that one of these 10 different carburetor adjustment tools would fit on a meek chainsaw well it doesn't so uh so yeah there's no sawing for me today i got the whole thing fixed <laughs> But it doesn't keep running. So if anybody has a tip on this, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment because I don't. I, from here, it's I'm gonna have to buy a new chainsaw, and it's kind of a shame, even though it's this is not a great one. So eventually, I will buy another one. But uh, would be nice to get this one working, so we can get some firewood going. I got around five trees that fell down uh, that would make really good firework and I don't want them to lay in the snow for that long. So yeah, if you have a tip, leave it in the comments here. Would be great. Um, but no sewing for me today. Welcome back to Animal Tracks with Mark. This is the big one. Our house is over there, as you can see. And this is what everybody that comes to Sweden is looking for. Well, at least the thing attached to these prints. There we go. Let me use the other side of the camera, that's nicer. Look at this beauty. She or he came from the forest and you don't know how they do it because they're huge and they come from places like that. It walked here. Ooh, the other way around, I mean. Yeah, the other way around. But look at those footprints. The big. The big lady. I'm talking about the moose, of course, for the ones that didn't get that yet. It's walking straight out of our land over there. Oh, nice. Little road there back here. But yeah, look at this. It's been a couple of days, but uh, yeah, awesome. To give you an impression of how big they are, that's the moose, and this is my foot next to it. That's big. Huh? 
You know what a funny thing is when you're walking? I'm Dutch, you know? So, if I'm walking here, and I know I'm not the only Dutch person who has this, so I have called it the Dutch syndrome. Uh, some guy on, uh, on, uh, uh, that I know through Facebook, Richard, who's living more up north, he, uh, he has the same thing. But if you have a chainsaw, or a saw, or whatever, or a piece of land, and you're Dutch, and you're walking it, everything in you says, cut down trees, and you see all these little trees? I wanna rip them all out. Uh, I really gotta restrain myself from not cutting down every tree <laughs> that is here. And it's not that I wanna cut down trees, it's just that, that I wanna clean things up and tidy them down, and put them through my, to my hand, is that? better way to say it? I think so. And I believe that's a very Dutch thing. Sorry, I'm distracted by animal tracks again. Like, right? This is, this is there. Oh yeah, there's a little road there. Sorry, I'm very distracted always by animal tracks, but this is a really nice one. You see? Really deep, it's walking that way. So it's coming like this. Chip. Cool, huh? Sorry. But uh, I'm not going to. I mean, I can restrain myself from doing it because I I don't want to be that guy. But the part of me, and that's maybe a cultural thing. I don't know. But it's, uh, I heard from a lot of Dutch people. Germans also have it. You want to tighten it up, clean it up, straighten it down, and build it up again or something i don't know it's weird but uh yeah i'm not doing it part of me wants it <laughs> yep. i don't really know what this is it's walking in a different pattern it's i don't know this it's zigzag but even more than I don't know, but you get what I'm saying. And then it jumps or something. Yeah. It goes here. It's not boar. Hmm. Well, but it could be. Uh, it's not a wolf. We got uh, a news report not so long ago that uh, right here, like ten kilom between 10 kilometers that way and 10 kilometers that way, there's uh, uh, a couple of wolves. So a male and a female has uh, made their home right here. So in about square 20 kilometers, uh, area. There's now two wolves that live literally here and we're in the center of that habitat, of that uh, terrain. But this is not wolf, this, but it could be a big cat like a lynx or something. Because I know we have them here also. But I'm not sure. I don't know about that. Maybe I'm just, I just really, really want that. That's also possible. <laughs> and then it just, it just one it's so bad that I'm creating it in my head. I don't, I don't know about that. But it, I don't recognize the tracks. I saw wolf tracks a while ago there, so I know this is not wolf tracks. I don't know what it is. It's cool to see all these different tracks. I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm boring you with all this, <laughs> this tracks in the snow, but I really enjoy it. So. If you don't want to see it, then put it in the comments and I'll do it anyway. So, uh, just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks again for uh, watching this shit.
You okay, girl? Hmm? It's a little difficult, huh? Yeah. You don't attach him. So everybody, once again, thanks a lot for watching. I am having a lot of fun doing this, so I hope you have a lot of fun looking at it. Uh, if you do, don't forget to subscribe here somewhere under here if you like watching it, otherwise don't. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey, dope.